Hello friends, welcome back to VFX Pipeline channel. In our previous video, we saw unboxing of TP-Link SX1008 10G 8-port router. In this video, we are going to unbox a 10G PCI Express card, which is also by TP-Link. So I, the reason we brought this TP-Link product is because we want 10 Gbps network so we can share file in very higher speed and we can open bigger Unreal project directly from our server in much faster speed compared to our traditional 1G network. Okay, so let's start unboxing of this and we'll see what's inside this. Okay, so for now I have my this pen and I'm using this pen to cut this. Okay, and this comes with three years of warranty. And also, this is not uh, this video is not sponsored by TP Link. This all product is purchased by us in HQ VFX. Okay, so here you can see this uh, TP Link 10G PCI Express network adapter, and we are going to open this. What's that? Uh, okay, here it is. Open, and this is the packaging. Very small card. You can plug it inside your PCI Express. And we'll also show you, we will put this in our HP Z440 workstations and there we will see how this will work. So the idea of uh, buying multiple cards is basically because we want to, you know, uh, we want to uh, put this in our workstation as well as in our file server and all this card will be connected with our this 10G router because if you don't have 10G router, there is no sense of buying this hardware. And if you have, uh, you know, uh, this, but if you don't have that, then also it's not, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's not uh, worth to actually buy only 10G switch if you don't have 10G cards. Because ultimately, the speed is coming from both sides, not from one single side. So make sure your computer should able to read data from server in 10 Gbps speed. That's basically because of this device we are able to do in our workstation side and this will do it from the server side, I mean the switch side. So the gateway, the highway is now much more bigger and the cabling we already did in CAT6A and the ports, the wall port is also, uh, we did install by Norisys CAT6A. Uh, the product details you can find in the description of this video. Uh, the product that we use in our wall uh, for CAT6A. Uh, and also I would like to uh, tell you that how we are going to set up this and how things will be work in action for that please subscribe the fx pipeline channel because in coming video i'm going to show you how all this device works together what is the difference in the speed over the traditional network in the box along with this you will also find this little piece of uh, uh, you know it's, it's like a clip which is actually you know in in the back side of your computer you can just put this I'm not sure how we are going to use this in our HP workstations, but let's see. While in our installing uh, installation video of this card inside workstation, I will show you that. And then we are getting a CAT6A cable. So it's a patch cable they are giving, and uh, I guess this is this is big enough to connect with your computers and your wall wall mounted. So, and also you can see the quality of this cable is pretty good. Can you just uh, show it uh, closely? As you can see this, the connector quality, the build quality of this is very nice. And this is CAT6A, small. Uh, but anyhow, we already created a lot of CAT6A cable in our house. Uh, and uh, But we are going to use this also. And some installation guide and some CD. I don't know who is using CD these days, but we shipped the CD, CD and uh, so far it's fine. And I'm very excited to see uh, how this both hardware communicate and we'll also see the performance in real life. Uh, we'll shoot some videos with our 1G network and also we'll shoot some videos with 10G network and we'll show you some benchmark videos and to, show, to see all, all this, how this works. Uh, just follow us in our VFX Pipeline channel, subscribe to VFX Pipeline channel and share this video with your friends and whoever who want to upgrade their network to 10 Gbps and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thank you.